away we go. So here we are in the Fed Federation Headquarters Rimple uh, in New York. And uh, Hazard is getting uh, the memo on the Boom Army's main fleet being on its way to Earth. Uh, and then uh, Gathin is like, nah, I was just kidding, to get uh, Ilvora to like be all weird. Don't worry about it. No fleet. And Hazard's like, ooh, that's good, because uh, it takes some more time before the, the Earth is ready to welcome His Majesty the Emperor. And then Gathin is like, hey, you've. Um, Talking about you had to reform the Federation Army. And he's like, yeah, once it's in place, taking over the Earth sphere will be simplicity itself. And he's certain Emperor Annix uh, will be pleased and promises that Grathan will reap enormous glory from all this. And uh, Grathan obviously knows who he's dealing with and he's like, yeah, your first part has always been yourself. And he's like, ah, yes, well, that's quid pro quo, isn't it? But in any case, he's moving in troops to attack uh, the village of Okoro. Okoro? To put Il Boris back against the wall and then Hazard will take care of feeding the Federation some bullshit to justify it. So it hangs up and then Hazard uh, grumbles at Grathen's attitude, then the last laugh will be his. Because once the Earth Sphere is under his control, everything else will follow suit. Dogtack uh, is concerned though, was Grathen really bluffing into regards to the, the, bloom f the boom fleet being here? And Hazard's like, there's no way to tell, because um, he doesn't trust us enough to come clean about everything. But they must hurry, Hazard wants the upcoming battle recorded in full. That's some very amusing stuff to showcase when uh, the Parliament reconvenes. And then, cut to us on the other side of the world. So, Ilbor has just uh, compiled a new star chart and te checking the Sherma system. And there's no data on planet Lodorio. And he's tried it again and again and there's nothing. Was Grathen actually telling the truth and their world's been destroyed? And that's when uh, Shaf walks in. And uh, they'd been wondering where he was last night. Gameron searched high and low and couldn't find him. And Ilbor was like, oh, I was just in my room. Uh, even he needs a good night's sleep once in a while. And then she's like, well, that's where Gameron checked first, of course. He's like, oh, well, whatever. Wait, where's the princess? So that way he's in the briefing room with Joe and the others. And uh, checking on whether the le legend we heard of the undying ninja in Akaro was true or not. And Ilvora's like, duh, princess always with Joe every day. And then off he goes. And... Domioji unfortunately reports that there are no ninja in Akaro. He says the story was just a cover to protect the village secret, or rather Sobi's secret. So like, what do you mean by that? And uh, where the hell is he? And uh, Damien says they're in a cave inside the sacred mountain behind the village. Uh, he found the place uh, when he was prowling about for Domioji. Declares that uh, the answers to all our questions uh, were waiting inside, but he will have to wait to explain till later. They'll come back since they're done looking over the place. Then he cuts comms right there, and Kochi is like, what the hell is this guy up to? Fucking hell. Yatsu! But, um... Considering how certain he sounded that there were no ninja in the village, Yu figures he must have found some, found some definitive evidence that there weren't any. But, Joe might remember, the villagers did manage to capture Kochi and Sire's group. Um, setting aside Damien, who was caught peeking in the girls. Uh, how could a bunch of regular old men and women pull that off? And Sire says that her group never actually fought against the villagers when they showed up. Well, how the hell did you get captured then? And they said, well, we got spooked after hearing voices, and then we got hit from behind and knocked out. It's like, yeah, pretty good uh, surprise attack, and well executed. And Arnie takes it as a valuable learning experience. And he tells uh, Soshi the villagers must have dealt with trespassers, like, many times, and uh, have grown so proficient at it. And that begs the question from Kenji, then. What the what's the secret they got to protect so hard? Jeez. Well, it's Suga here on the bottom figures that we'll just have to wait for Domioji's report. And then Elbora's like, nope, the investigation's over and the El Shank is leaving right now. Joe asks what the hell he's on, and Elbora says the Boom Army caught wind of their presence there, and they're headed here right now. And he begs Romina uh, to give the word to depart. And then uh, the princess says that Damien and Domioji are still out, and Elbora's like, there's no time. We need to leave immediately, it'll be too late. Show you warns Elbora against rash decisions. What happened to the prudence he displayed before? And uh, Joe is just like, Jim, hey, this fucker's hiding something. He's like, none of your business, dude. And before Joe can get up in his face... The arm. And it's the Boom Army, they're already here. So Richard orders everyone to scramble. And as we uh, run off, Joe turns to Elbora and he's like, Damn it, Elbora! I just started to think that maybe you're a decent-ish commander. He let me down big time. Jim, hey. And then Romulus suggests that they all head to the bridge. 
and Aurora are still awake because he wants to take her someplace safe. And here's this lady coughing. <coughs> and here's Emmy. Kaoru! Oh my, wh wh why the rush, Emmy? Something wrong? Yeah, it's way too dangerous for you to stay here. Come with me, quick. Oh, thank you for your concern, but you really don't need to do that. But there's going to be a battle soon. You'll get caught in the middle of it. Honestly, you don't have to worry. I don't have much time left anyway. And she takes her hand and says, What beautiful hands a young girl like you has. Kaoru? Wonder if I, uh, if I used to be as pretty as you when I was your age. It's been so long I can't even remember. Emmy, I'm fine where I am. Rather than helping me, I'd like you to... I'd like you to help Soji. <laughs> Kaoru! And then in their weird cave. So, there, that's the last of the ancient books they kept in the shrine. A lot of interesting stuff here. The start of their demon faith, that connects to the sacred mountain, and even the truth about that undying ninja. Hey, it's me. But the best one is this a diary belonged to the village chief's dad. You can actually read all those squiggly lines? Well, you can call me something an expert on this. I reckon that's why the boss let me tag along. Domioji. Who are you, really? Alright, let's go, Damien. I think it's time for an exorcism. Exorcism of what? The proverbial demon that's binding Sobi. And so this is mission 17 of the Japan route. Time eps away. So, we're surrounded by a bunch of jokers. Battle stations, everyone. Uh, uh, hold on. So, Bora and Hyrus, Highness haven't made it back to the bridge yet. What the hell are they doing while this is going down? Hey, Joe, where are you going? I'll come the ship for him. You guys go ahead. Joe, now wait a minute. Let him go. Don't have much more time to sit around. Let me deploy the nerds. <laughs> well, you do now, Elbora. Hope you won't disappoint. Your primary goal is to eradicate the Boom Army's forces. Be mindful of Yalshank. It's currently mobile, so you need to defend it as well. May we be victorious, my friends. And that's it. Just make sure our battleship doesn't get blown up and blow up at all the bad dudes. And he bought his boat, the Sea Terra Hutz, which is Sea Rhymer as hell. Da -da -da -da. This? Scorpion? Scorpion? 
the shoulder cannon. It's okay. Our twins in the back can't do much because they don't got no dang range. That's fine too. It's fucking invincible. Something Razef wasn't even getting there. If we know what Razef had, the original Sancho, it's true, it did. It wasn't like fucking Fafna. Kono! Getting with the little jiggler.
to Soul of the Three Kingdoms. He's seeding. He's seeding. Coming. Is the Shank still stuck, Gaminan? I can't move the ship all by myself, you know. Oh, Bora, Princess Romano, where are you? Bora, where are you taking me? Told you, Highness, someplace safe. But still, this is. Here you are, Bora. Joe, you didn't deploy? I was going to, but you were acting so weird, I had to come back. Oh, meddling fool. Stand aside, Joe. If you don't, I'll have to gun you down. Bora, well, you, you serious? To me? Yes, I am. I have a duty to defend the Highness's life. Well, Bora, stop. For what reason could you do something like this? Your Highness, I've always served you faithfully. Wouldn't I sacrifice my very life for you, have I not? Then I beg that you trust me. But, but, Shikashi, or do you trust this man more than me? Princess, put your gun down, Bora. Your Highness, to this day I've never known someone I could count on more than you. However, how could anyone trust a man who points a gun at his companions? Y Your Highness! She's right, you know. I don't know what's going on with you, but... If only... What? If only you hadn't come here, Joe! Elbora, stop! <coughs> no! <laughs> Princess! Elbora, what the hell did you do? I didn't mean to, Your Highness. I would never... I... And he runs off. Hold it there. Ugh. Joe. We all right, Princess? Hang in there. D don't worry, it's just a scratch. The boar is more important. Yeah, that guy. I was totally wrong about him. How could he shoot you like that? No, it was just an accident. His gun misfired. Nothing more. Princess. Please, Joe, you have to bring him back. Save him from the abyss he's running towards. Okay, Princess. I promise you I'll drag him back here, even if I've got to knock out a tooth or two to make it happen. That's one of the old Shanks fighter crafts. Who's piling it? And then, what? They won't stop that plane, it's Elbora. Elbora? But why is he? Ah, uh, Elbora. Is Romana in there with you? No, she's not. I failed to bring her. What? You still dare show your face around here? I don't expect you to take me in without any compensation. Let me have one of your machines. I'll sink the Oshank myself. <laughs> now you've got my attention. Have it your way. Uh, what? That's... Elbora. Damn it. I pointed a gun at Her Highness. I no longer have a home to return to. But I can still end your life, Joe. I stake my pride as a Lodorian warrior on it. So, Elbora. What in heaven's name? Ah, no, Pacayano. Dumbass, is that how you're hoping to make Princess Robin happy? Joe. Fortunate as it may be, it seems that Bora has sold his soul to the devil. Your Highness. 
And as Princess of Planet Ludoria, I cannot allow his aggression to continue. My friends, please, lend me your strength so that we strike, di that, strike down that madman. Princess? And for the princess in that position, Labora. Now get over here. I'm going to knock some sense into your skull. And now, aboard this boat, we now have Gamoran instead of Ilbora. It's got the accelerate. the skeleton and he's just like he's not super good but he's still pretty good he's got friggin ninja and prevail and we need Joe to take him down for a thing yeah this guy I never took you for a, for a great guy, Aurora, but even I'm surprised at what an idiot you turn out to be. I doubt you can even imagine the humiliation of having your pride as a warrior crushed. And? Does defending your pride make it okay to betray the princess? None of this would have happened if you weren't here. If you didn't exist, I... Kisama... <laughs> どうやら俺の勝ちのようだな。いるもら。覚悟はいいか。あ、ペイ。スケルトンはよくできたマシンだ。無駄なことをするな。That's useless. Against the skeleton. With a big gutsy hand, it's a big cement mixer. Where else is he supposed to get it from? を奪おうとするものとは誰であっても戦う。そこだ。え、つ。今まで戦ってきた経験。
Ten blade. Swin. Not even close, buddy. The goddamn stealth. got the damn go again, so... Where'd you do it, Commander Ulbora? You took a vow to protect Princess Romana with your life. How could you betray her? <laughs> you shot down a sworn friend, though. I doubt you have any right to criticise me. <sighs> I... Poor Annie. <laughs> Annie, he was trying to save his friend from getting blown up. This is a jacket. Right in the deck every time. Eat this. Give him the tickler. Oh, 
Robin aí, véi. Why are you still doing this, Princess Romana? Your quest for ninjas is pointless. Everything I do is in the name of the restoration of my homeworld. Despite the hardships we may encounter, we'll never surrender. We cannot. Yeah! Weird chin with a rush on his face and Luna hanging out. How you doing, Tom? All these Z-Rhymers. Look at them. No! Pride as a warrior going. Got sword cut. By Joe Maya. Too naive, Joe. Kill or be killed. Any more of this nonsense, Lubora. If you lay down your weapons and surrender, I. Forgive me, Your Highness, but I was a traitor the moment I turned my gun on you. So, Lubora. <sighs> Damn it all, how this happened? How did this happen? So. Pretended to an enemy? I mean, he didn't mean to. He shot his gun and the princess jumped in the way to save Joe. It's Joe's fault, that's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, Garen sucks. I mean, he's not wrong. Joe is the reason why. But also, fuck you, Garen. Joker. Why'd you point a gun at your teammates? Is that your so-called pride as a warrior at work? A child who's lived life as secluded as yours shouldn't speak of things he doesn't understand. I mean, that's why he was asking that, wasn't it? <laughs> Mike not choosing sides today. Classic Mike. Dun dun 
Shooting fucking lasers everywhere. Let me give him the tickler again. Yeah, I sort of wanted these jokers to get to do their attack, but it don't matter because I'm not keeping this through anyway. Those vampires, what's that? They're just zero rhymer as hell. Yeah, with Blue Alien Beck. He's definitely more Beck than he is out. Damien Karate Instruction book. Now you stay right there, Obora. I'd never fold a worm like you. Kisama. And then, here's Sobi. Kara, what are you still doing here? I know I asked that girl to get you away from here. No, no, Sobi, it's it's fine. I told her not to bother. More important than me. Don't you have something you should do? Karu? So, Sobi, that strength of yours. I'd like you to use it to help those who really need you. Use it to protect others. Karu, I... That's my final wish. D Sobi? I... I... He runs out. Thanks, Karu. I hope I helped. <laughs> Kaoru! It's alright, now I'll finally be able to set him free. I'm sure so be, yeah, I'm sure so we rise to the occasion because of you, with both his feet planted firmly on the ground. Yes, I know he will. Finished. That's Sobi. I don't know what someone else like me can accomplish. Someone like me can accomplish. But if there's something, anything I can do, then it's all jazzed up. D what? What? Now, you might die. Ubora. Oh no, hey, Joe. Now you straight to hell, Joe. I swear I'll be the one to end your life. W wait. Ubora. Why? <sighs> Sorry. Can a demon like me really be a protector to others? What the hell you on about, huh? Didn't you just protect one of my teammates? Uh, thank you, Kaisa. Alright, now let's take it to him. All of us together. We're gonna keep these bad eggs from messing with your village. Right. Yeah, and so let me get... So now this dude's here. Yeah, he's just... His upgrade... His squad bonus is barrier, melee attack and armor, so he makes you tough as hell. Uh, he doesn't have much range, but nobody does in this game, and he's got all of the stat downs. Yeah, he's the second weakest map that we have, but that's not a problem. And we gotta get up here and fight the boat guy.
Oh yeah, you sure map it out. Let's see if I give a hoot. Spoilers, I've never given a hoot about this weird little gun. Now! Now look at that, that's a lot of damage you just did. Look at that fucking loser. These three are getting there. Next turn, one of them will be able to do their combo attack. We don't blow them up first. Joe is like, don't you ever give up, I don't have any time to waste on you. He's like, the words out of my mouth. This will be the last time we fight. And then, not beating us, guy. Just call it quits and run off. Cheeky little. We'll see if that attitude lasts after I flung you into the pits of hell. This fucking guy. And then he yells at him too. He's like, you just keep making yourself look like an idiot again and again. He's like, we not give me sass for long. Let me get the secret ninja arm, but... Blast you earthlings, I'll get you for this! Come on! How dare ye! Whew, looks like it's over at last. Guys, emergency, Kaoru's taking a turn for the worst. Kaoru's... And then, Kaoru, stay with me, Kaoru! So, B... She, she's got terminal cancer, that's what's happening to her? Uh, Mother, isn't there anything you can do? I... I... Don't have to hide anything. I've already made peace with this. Karu? Sobi, thank you. I wouldn't trade our 50 years together for anything. F 50 What are you talking about? Karu's not his mother or grandmother. She's actually Sobi's wife. Whoa. Whoa. Eh? His wife? Mm -hmm. Truth be told, Sobi's a 70-year-old man. <laughs> and that, uh... Nandat Nandate Not even though it's Te this time. Seventy years ago the villagers found the great demon, that is the Machina. That legend said uh, uh that within their mountain uh yeah with the, yeah that uh, legend laid within their secret mountain. Inside its cockpit was a sleeping baby. That baby was Sobi. Baby sleeping inside a Machina's cockpit? And always had been the Machina's factor so he had superhuman abilities even as a small child. Pair that with his own legend about his great demon, and so he was named and worshipped as his own child. Then, the Undying Ninja. Yep, one of several rumours about Sobi that found their way out the village. Those rumours spread far and wide, and in time he couldn't stay here anymore. So he left for Tokyo. That's where Sobi and Kaoru met. So, 50 years ago, I worked at a movie theatre in Kamata back then. Sobi was a regular there, always looking so happy while he watched the day screening, and I found myself attracted to him. Kaoru? But Sobi's not a normal man, so he's shunned from Tokyo as well. With nowhere else to go, he had no choice but to go back to his old village. He brought you along with him. From the moment I came back, I became the village's religious icon. I severed all ties with the world outside the village and took up the duty of protecting it from trespassers. As the avatar of the great demon. So, that's the truth behind the demon's legend. The village isolated itself and I went on as its religious icon. In doing so, I lost my freedom. But... I was content. The people here took took me in, raised and needed me. Someone completely unknown and alien to them. And so it was and is my life duty to protect this village, even if it meant losing my freedom. Actually, no, Sobi. That's just how you presumed things were. L what? The villagers didn't take you in because it was a matter of faith. They did it just so they could keep you safe. T to keep me safe? 
They made that decision when they saw you after your return. It might be impossible for this child to live outside our village, and so we'll watch over him ourselves, they thought. From that moment on, Kara and all the villagers gave up their own freedom, and to keep you a secret, they isolated the village and hid it from the rest of the world. Th then, then I... Sorby. It was me. I took away their freedom, tying them to the, this village. No, 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 never. I never felt like it was in position. I was truly happy throughout it all. Because I was with the man I loved. Kaoru. You want me so much joy, Sobi. And I'm sure you can do the same for others, too. But I... I know you'll be alright. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. For staying with me. Until now. And it's just fucking dead. Kaoru. Kaoru! Kaoru. You're on. You're on, Kaoru. All I wanted... <laughs> All I ever wanted was to grow old with you. You actually just want to read Manga Barrel more than I made you want to watch Anime Barrel? Yeah, that's because Anime Barrel fucking sucks, and Manga Barrel is actually alright. I and mean, then, so, he sought to protect them, but they were the ones protecting him. What a sad story. But now the bindings around him have come loose. Adding Sobi Nakajima in his talisman is quite the boon to our team. More so since one of ours turned traitor. W what you say? Soshi, do you really need to say it like that? Just state in facts. No, you're lying. So boy would never betray us. I won't accept that. No? Then why the hell did he leave? Why did he fly the Boom Army's machine? You saw how sad he made the princess. Isn't she supposedly the most important person in the world for him? And then, Garen, that only happened because of you. Who? You heard me. No, this would have happened if you weren't here, Joe. It's your fault. The Cerebro's pride was... Ah, cry me a river. That ain't pride. That's just throwing a pity party. Nanda Kisama? What do you say? Well, that's enough! Y Your Highness, Ilbura has left us. Such is harsh reality. We'll now have to steel ourselves to fight our old companion. We cannot hesitate. Rather, we must see it done for his own sake. But, but, Shikashi. Dispense with the objections, Gamelon. We now take up the position of commander of the Elshank. Uh, I'm. Indeed, now replace Ilbura in God's providing tactical commands. We must strive to fill in the gap left by him. Understood? Roman leaves. Hey, Princess, wait! Joe! What, Rennie? You should just let her be for now. Rennie? And then... Princess Romana sniffles. It's like, Dora, why? Why did this have to happen? Yeah, you gotta go through L first. Because otherwise you go from the good one to the bad one. And you're just like, why is this? And then aboard the sea terahertz, the big ship, Gathen was like, oh, so you're going to work with the Boom Army, but only to save uh, Romana's life. Mm -hmm. And uh, But first I'd like to ask something, was Gathen just bluffing when he said the main fleet was coming to Earth? And he's like, and if I say I was, will you kill me? And then Obura's like, well, I would love to do just that, but as we both know, I no longer have anywhere I could return to, so my only option is to st try and steal Romana. And then Obura's like, Duh, and Gathen's like, ha 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 ha, chill out anyway. I'm sure Emperor Anix will welcome you with open arms, if you snag the princess. Better give you everything you've got. The lady you love depends on it. <laughs> and then Ilbora is like, uh, Princess, feel free to shun me. However, you really find the way of the mantle of an enemy. Even if I have to suffer the flames of hell for my crimes, I'll gladly accept it if you'll let me protect your life. Yeah, Emperor Anix the Boom. He's good. That's his name. I wonder what he does to places. Does he blow the, annex them and then blow them up? And then, board Judah's uh, presence office. So they managed to secure the new machina? Yeah, it looks like a lot happened though. And then she says, the machina was sealed away for hundreds of years with a baby factor. Does that mean? I think so, yes. It's likely just like little Emmy, a human from the world where machinas existed. All right. Well, I suppose we'll just see what's, uh, what's sooner or later. More important than that right now is our local issue. You mean the so-called anti-machina weapons that Kiriyama Heavy Industries developed? Yeah? I wonder. They know machinas are their own to research, so how are they able to create such a thing? If I had to guess, I'd say our company's classified data is being leaked. Th there's a spy? And then in Kiriyama Heavy Industries, here's this joker. You only managed to complete those as quickly as you did thanks to the data you provided. Damn, who's this mysterious dude on the phone? And now our plan can finally be set in motion. I trust you'll be here for the reveal. 
won't you, Moritsugu? I intend to, yes. Mysterious. And then... Let's pop up. Support, defend, hit away, save. 